Parkside has an established reputation as a pioneering site. For more than 30 years, it was the Lancashire coalfield's most modern colliery, utilising all the latest technology, producing up to a million tonnes of coal a year. At its peak, nearly 1,800 men worked at the pit. The manpower of such a large industrial unit was gathered from many of the local towns and outlying areas such as Southport, Liverpool and Blackburn. However, despite the best endeavours of its workforce, mining ceased in October 1992. Since the closure, British Coal Property has been looking towards the creation of new opportunities by developing the site as a strategic commerce park. This will allow the site once again to play a crucial role in the economic regeneration of the Northwest region. The benefits nationally, regionally and locally will be far-reaching. Situated at the hub of Britain's motorway network, just two miles north of Warrington, the development site is ideally placed to boost both the Northwest regional and local economies, with potentially over 1,800 jobs being created on site. The development could also attract inward investment, further boosting the region's economy. Already there's been considerable support from the business and political community of St Helens, who are keen to reap the benefits of bringing forward a key development site in the Northwest region. Many national companies are looking for large, strategically placed centralised facilities. Parkside could meet these requirements. The Parkside site is owned by British Coal. In total, there's some 232 acres. Parkside has now been cleared of all colliery surface structures. It's intended that the overhead power lines and pylons, which presently detract from the site's appearance and development potential, will be relocated. The proposal will reclaim the currently derelict land, returning some 83 acres back to economically beneficial use within the development area, providing in total over 100 acres for the phased growth of the Commerce Park. The site is ideally located in the heart of the northwest region, two miles to the north of the M6-M62 interchange at M6 Junction 21. However, the primary access to the site is likely to be from the M6 Junction 22. There are rail sidings situated in the northern half of the site, linked to the Liverpool-Manchester railway. This in turn has direct access onto the West Coast Main Line. This facility provides the potential for private railway sidings, which will be increasingly important to modern businesses. The excellent strategic position of Parkside makes the site ideal for office, industrial and distribution companies requiring a close proximity to the principal transport networks. The master plan makes provision for over a hundred acres of commercial and office development. It's intended that an internal road layout and infrastructure network will be provided to support the substantial job-creating development scheme. Landscaping will form an important element of the proposed development with particular emphasis being given to visual screening for the local environment. The landscaping incorporated within the development will also create the quality environment demanded in today's property market business. A feature of the development will be the comprehensive restoration of the former colliery tip into an amenity woodland area. This will enhance the ecological and visual aspects of the site. The introduction of a pond to the south of the site will be designed to encourage the creation of an aquatic habitat of reeds and open water covering three acres. Furthermore, the new woodland planting scheme and conservation proposals will reflect the objectives of the Mersey Forest Initiative. Parkside Commerce Park will offer an excellent business development environment with first-class communications regionally and nationally and with proposed landscaping, the site will mature into a strategic, high-quality commerce park. It's hoped that once again, Parkside can make a substantial contribution to the economic prosperity of the St. Helens area and bring much-needed jobs and investment into Newton-Lewillows. <laughs>